Good morning, everybody. It's Cynthia, the fishing mommy. I've never done this before. The wiring in this boat is a complete mess. And uh, we're gonna see if this even works. Honestly, I'm, I'm not that confident that I can get it to work just because of the state of the wiring in this boat. Um, I'm gonna put a video clip here of what I found under the control panel when I opened it up to put this little light in. Here's the little light that I installed the other day. Uh, it does work, which is great. But <laughs> I cannot figure out which fuse it's even connected to because none of them seem to control it. So again, I mean, the wiring on this boat is a nightmare. There's stuff everywhere. Look at this. It's crazy. Uh, it's a mess. I think I'm going to have to end up rewiring the entire boat, which is something else that I don't know how to do. Wish me luck. Here goes. Oh my God. Look at this mess. This is the wiring harness up underneath my console. I mean, I'm so scared to even touch this, but it's got to be done. Look at this mess. What in the world? is going on here. I mean, this is craziness. But I figure, you know what? <laughs> if I completely tank it and screw it up, I've, at least I've got a kayak I can fish from, right? <laughs> Here's another example of real quality wiring work. This goes to nothing um, other than this completely rotted out transducer wire going to another completely rotted out transducer wire in the stern of the boat. Back here, look at this thing. That's a mess, but I may be able to use it as a lead wire. So I'm leaving it for now until I'm ready to run a new transducer wire. I probably won't bring it up through the same hole, but if I can get it up to the hull using a fish tape or something, um, then this may help me do that run. So I'm going to leave it here for now, even though it looks like that. <laughs> uh, as I discovered yesterday, these two um, fish finders do not work, but it's probably wiring related. I, I think the units themselves probably are okay, although I don't know which transducer powers one of them. Uh, there's only one other transducer back here and it's right here. A black wire, it looks like a Garmin wire, but I really don't know. So, yeah, I think that's the Garmin but it doesn't turn on. So I don't know. <laughs> I checked out my fuses. My fuses are all good. Um, but none of this really works. So, and this is what we're dealing with here, which is pretty Pretty OG, this too. Pretty old school. As expected, this boat needs a lot of work. Uh, that's why I got it for the price I got it for. And I'm not scared of the work, but I am scared of screwing things up. So <laughs> we're gonna take this really slow and gentle. If you guys have tips or tricks or any advice for me as I go, please let me know in the comments. I really appreciate any help. I'm just trying to make sense of this mess of wires over here. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> it's, it's a rat's nest. So right now what I'm doing is I took this panel off here and uh, this has the little light that I installed the other day. Um, I'm cleaning up these wires because I didn't have everything I needed the other day. So I'm just, there was a random wire that was spliced in and I don't know why. Uh, so I took that out. Look at this mess. <laughs> I mean, really. Oh my God. 
Guys, I don't know about this. First and foremost, I'm gonna fix this little light. I'm gonna fix the wiring job that I did the other day um, and get it right. And then I'm gonna try to figure out this radio wiring here. I think that's what this clump of mess is. And then it looks like the, uh, I can't see where the antenna wire comes in. Actually, I don't, I don't think it's this. I think this is the Garmin up here but the antenna is right out here. You can see it, this thing right here. Um, there you go. So I'm trying to find out where that antenna wire comes in. Actually, I think I might've just found it. It looks like it's down here. Here it is. <laughs> okay, so that's one part of the mystery solved. Here's the old radio that I took out that didn't work, um, which is actually still connected. So that's gonna give me some clues. So let's see what we can find. Okay, so I have taken off this other panel. It's this panel right here. It's like a carpeted plywood panel. And uh, that goes here behind the console and um, covers up all these wires. Oh, goodness. Um, as you see, this is kind of a mess in here. Um, not very clean, obviously. But I did discover something good. Let me grab my light, and I'll show you guys if I can. So down in here, I don't know if you can see this, those two BBC pipes look like they are conduit for running cables. So I'm really excited about that. And then there's this flexible conduit here as well. Um, but I'm really happy that it seems like there are actual conduits here to run cables in. And I can't really get down in there to show you, which means it's going to be kind of hard to get down in there and work as well. But I'll figure it out. So that is where we are right now. Um, I've started labeling some of the things that I know what they are. This is to the hummingbird, which doesn't currently work. This is to the missing fish finder that it didn't come with the boat. This is also to the missing fish finder. And that one goes down around and then outside the cabin. This one I believe is the Garmin. Uh, whoa. And I can't believe this, but it looks like they actually opened up the Garmin cable and spliced it so that both the Hummingbird and the Garmin would work off of one transducer. I mean, what? And then this rando wire hanging here. I do not know what in the world they were thinking with that. That's, that's ridiculous. Uh, and then down here we've got some of the wires for the old VHF radio. And here's the, I think this is the um, coax that goes to the uh, antenna for the VHF. So I'm slowly figuring out what everything is. Uh, this is in bad shape. Well, I guess that's just a crush. Okay. But can you believe this? <laughs> The other day on my Instagram, I mentioned the concept of technical debt, and that is an idea and a phenomenon that I uh, became familiar with in my career, which was actually in the software industry. Technical debt means basically the sins of the earlier engineers are visited upon you at some point. So in software, that means that a lot of times people will make decisions to do something the quickest way possible or with the knowledge or tools that they have on hand. And then later that comes to bite you because you have to fix those problems at some point. They start begetting other problems, of course. And that's true in software, that's true in everything where you're deferring maintenance or you're doing things kind of, you know, a hacky way and not doing them the right way. This is the perfect example of that, this wiring jumble over here. <laughs> that is the definition of technical debt there. 
Um, and you know, it'd be great if I was a master engineer and could just jump in and rewrite all the code, but I'm not, and I'm not a master electrician either. So this is going to be fun. I think I can figure it out. I've started doing some rough diagrams of how I want the boat wiring and uh, it doesn't look particularly complicated. It looks like it's probably going to be a messy, dirty, and frustrating project to do. The process of actually figuring it out looks pretty straightforward. Uh, if you guys have hints, tips, or tricks on how I could make rewiring my boat easier and uh, do the best job possible, please let me know. Um, I would really appreciate it. I'm brand new to this and I've only ever done really minor electrical stuff before. So I would love to hear from you. I had hoped to get a little bit further, but honestly, I'm sort of in an impasse because I don't really know what to mess with next. And I have to do a little thinking about this before I start pulling wires out of everywhere. Uh, I, the one thing that really does work on this boat is the throttle. So I don't want to mess that up. Um, nothing else really seems to work. <laughs> the tilt and trim, the throttle work, um, and, you know, I think the bilge pump works, but to be honest with you, uh, there was a lot of water in the boat yesterday when I pulled the plug, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that bilge pump, and I need to take a good look at it as I'm working on this process. I do know that it doesn't have an automatic float, so that could be the problem, um, is either I didn't turn the bilge pump on, or there is a problem at the console, or there's a problem in the wiring run. I'm gonna say honestly that there's probably an equal chance of all three, um, or all three might be true as well. That's gonna do it for me right now on this rainy, cold day. I think I'm gonna go inside and get something warm to drink and clean up and do a little more research on all this wiring mess that I have to deal with. Not the greatest, but hey, I'm going to learn and hopefully you guys learn some things along with me. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.